guys, James Beam here from MWA. This is a warm October day out on the river and what I'm targeting here is the faster moving current sections of the river known as riffles. Um, I wanted to create a kind of an instructional video on helping people who fish these stretches of rivers kind of understand and break down the dynamics of a river environment. As you can see in this illustration, there are three basic components that make up your standard river stretches. The first being a riffle, and riffles are areas of fast, shallow water flowing over boulders and rocks, and they sometimes break the surface. The second area are known as pools. Pools are areas of deeper, slower flowing water, um, either downstream from a riffle or on the outside bends. And the third standard component of a river is called a run. These are the areas of the river upstream from a riffle that have the characteristics of having smooth, unbroken flow, um, then they connect the riffles to the pools. The areas I want to talk about today are act chasing those active fish in the riffles. As you can see in this diagram, I noted where the less active fish will typically stage as they don't want to exert energy. Um, they tend to hang out in the pools and when they are ready to feed, they move upriver just downstream from a riffle and, and often actively feed in the current just below the riffle where there's a little bit deeper water and there's a lot of current breaks and eddies. This picture depicts a riffle from an overhead view. As you can clearly see from the left side of the screen, which is up current, that's the run section of the river where it's smooth and, un and, smooth and basically a little bit deeper water that's flowing towards the riffle. Once the rocks or the boulders or the harder surface is encountered in the shallower section of the riffle, the water tends to break the surface as you can see in the broken surface of this picture. Immediately downstream from the riffle, there is typically deeper water with back eddies and current breaks that attract bait fish and active muskies that will move into these areas and be advantageous feeders and will be the most active fish in the rivers. On this, on this day when you're pressed for time, I would highly recommend fishing these higher activity areas of the rivers in order to maximize your river production.
Yeah. It's about 40, but we can measure it. 